Batman, the unwavering guardian of Gotham, has faced threats of staggering magnitudes from a myriad of villains, each encapsulating a unique embodiment of chaos and malevolence. Throughout various media including comics, live action movies and animated series, these antagonists have occasionally formed alliances, concocting more potent threats against the Dark Knight and the city he vows to protect. This video seeks to shed light on some of the most potent and compelling villain team-ups within the vast universe of Batman, and the varying degrees of havoc they've wreaked upon Gotham. Let's get into it. What are you? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Fear. I'm vengeance. Within the rich tapestry of comic books, villainous collaborations are rife, often woven with intricate plots and deadly intentions. A quintessential example resides in the acclaimed story arc Hush, where the villain Hush, also known as Dr. Thomas Elliot, ingeniously manipulates a plethora of Batman rogues, including the Joker, Harley Quinn, Two-Face and Poison Ivy, each playing a pivotal role in a convoluted scheme to dismantle Bruce Wayne both physically and psychologically. Hush masterfully utilizes the distinct traits and vendettas of each villain, creating a complex web that ensnares Batman in a relentless gauntlet of challenges, both to his detective skills and his moral compass. But let's be honest, the comic books have run for like 80 plus years with so many different titles. There are hundreds, if not thousands of villain team-ups that we could talk about. So for today, I will be focusing more on the best team-ups from the movies and the animated series. The live-action adaptations of Batman have not shied away from portraying alliances among his notorious adversaries. In Tim Burton's Batman Returns in 1992, we witness an uneasy alliance between the seductive yet deadly Catwoman and the grotesque, vengeful Penguin. Their partnership, though fleeting and fundamentally dysfunctional, underscores a shared problem towards Batman and a mutual understanding of each other's isolation. It simultaneously highlights their contrasting motivations and methodologies, weaving a multifaceted narrative that explores vengeance, identity, and tragic villainy. Now, I will more than likely get some stick for this, but to me, the most iconic live-action villain team-up in any Batman movie is from Batman Forever, directed by Joel Schumacher. Two-Face and the Riddler join forces to take down the Dark Knight. Both villains are intertwined by their vendettas against Batman, albeit for various reasons. Two-Face for his tragic transformation and perceived betrayal, and the Riddler due to his rejection and obsession with outsmarting Bruce Wayne. Their alliance showcases the amalgamation of brute force and intellectual menace, exploring how combined villainy can target Batman both physically and mentally, challenging his brawn and intellect simultaneously. Now while all of that sounds great, obviously the delivery is rather camp and over the top, but having grown up with this movie, I love it. Then there is, of course, the almost equally iconic Batman and Robin which introduces us to a unique alliance between Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy. Bound together through shared antagonism towards Batman, though possessing starkly different motivations and emotional temperaments, Mr. Freeze, driven by a desperate need to cure his terminally ill wife, presents a tragic figure, while Poison Ivy, with her eco-terrorist agenda, brings a seductive yet deadly charm. Their alliance, albeit uneasy, shows how desperate motivations can converge under the banner of a shared enemy, exploring how villains can exploit each other's vulnerabilities and strengths. There's also a sub-team-up with Ivy and Bane, though let's admit it, it's hard to really call this thing Bane. Bane is a highly intelligent tactical genius, not a blubbering roider that can't even speak. But it just sort of works for this terribly silly yet fantastic movie. Now in Batman the Animated Series, which is renowned for its narrative depth and mature themes, it serves as a banquet of villainous collaborations that deepen our understanding of these complex characters. In the episode Harley and Ivy, the eponymous characters Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy forge an unlikely but robust partnership, united in a spree of criminality after severing ties with their respective tormentors. The duo become a symbol of empowerment and rebellion against the patriarchal shadows from which they emerged. Their camaraderie provides a rich exploration into themes of friendship and autonomy amidst the chaotic criminal underbelly of Gotham. Another intriguing alliance in the animated realm is the Injustice League, showcased in various DC animated series and movies. Comprising of an ensemble of lethal villains including Joker, Lex Luthor and Cheetah, the League serves as a dark mirror to the unity and moral steadfastness of the Justice League. Their alliances, albeit frequently marred by clashing egos and conflicting agendas, illustrate the magnitude of threat that emerges when powerful beings converge under a banner of malevolence and mutual ambition. Now, these villain team-ups spread across various mediums, each tell a story far beyond mere team-based antagonism against the Cape Crusader. 
They explore themes of isolation, shared malevolence, rebellion, and sometimes a stark juxtaposition against the cohesive unity of hero teams. The alliances often unravel under their inherent instability, showcasing that these unions are less formed out of genuine camaraderie and more from a utilitarian need to extinguish a common threat. Batman. The potency of these team-ups lies not merely in the amplification of physical threats against Batman, but in the myriad of ways they challenge his moral, psychological, and ethical bearings. They force him to navigate a labyrinth of challenges, each reflecting a shard of his own fears insecurities and moral convictions, ultimately weaving narratives that are rich, multifaceted and eternally captivating. Batman's rogue gallery in its isolated chaos presents a formidable threat to the Dark Knight and Gotham, yet when these entities of malevolence unite, even momentarily, they forge narratives that are compellingly complex and darkly enchanting. Through their collaborations we glimpse into the abyss of their depravities, the fragments of their humanity and the perpetually grey moral landscapes that defines the universe of Batman. These alliances serve as a reminder that within the shadows of villainy, there exists not merely undirectional malevolence, but a spectrum of motivations, and an insatiable thirst for power and recognition in a world enveloped by eternal night. That's it from me today, my friends. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is the best villain team-up of all time. This video was made purely to start that conversation, so let's continue it in the comments down below. I think an honourable mention has to go to the villainous cast of the 1960s Batman, because, well, they pretty much teamed up every episode. So fair play to them, epic team up. Today a quick shout out goes out to all the other channels that myself and the team are working on day in and day out. I'm sure you may find something in our other channels that may interest you. We have the Broken Sword for Lord of the Rings lore, the Sixth Ranger for Power Rangers, Federation Outpost 111 for Star Trek, Rebel Arena for Star Wars, History of Dragon Ball for Dragon Ball, Explore for Warhammer 40k lore, and if you happen to be into BJJ or grappling, Pure Grappling will hopefully be keeping you up to date with grappling stuff. It's a lot of work, but we have an awesome team and we love working on every single channel. Check them out if any of those interest you. Thank you all so much for watching today, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and return to the Batcave for more Bat content. What are you? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Fear. I'm Vengeance.